Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video. We're doing a weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed weekend look ahead. And uh, we're going to be seeing more unsettled weather coming up really in the uh, weekend. There will be more rain at times. Not a complete washout though, but we will be drier intervals as well. Temperatures a bit up and down at times, rather spring-like in the south. Quite cold week though for the north. And later on, I think it'll turn generally more colder across most parts of the country. So I'll get on with the weekend forecast for you in a moment, just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the regular week second day video update, and that'll have all of the usual features. Uh, websites using full weekend forecasts are coming from uh, the weatherout.com and weathercentral.d, starting with a radar picture at Gow's Webbage. So this is how the uh, radar picture is currently looking. A uh, heavy rain developing across northern and western parts. You can see the bright colours there indicating there are some heavy bursts uh, mixed in. Showery rain across northern Ireland coming down to the far northwest of England. Just the first signs of another more uh, general area of rain beginning to move into western parts of Ireland. So essentially rain is closing in uh, today, but much of England and Wales has been dry through this morning. Here today, it's the pressure chart, so low pressure is deepening to the west of Scotland, and it's bringing a weather system in from off the Atlantic as well. Isobars are tightening again, so it's becoming quite windy across many parts of the country. Not as bad as uh, the storms that we've had on uh, recent weekends, but uh, nevertheless, it's another pretty unsettled uh, Saturday and a pretty unsettled weekend, really. So, for the rest of this afternoon, you're going to find outbreaks of rain getting heavier and more widespread across northern and western parts of Scotland, also increasingly through northern Ireland and probably into northwestern parts of North Wales as well by the end of the afternoon. That leaves many other areas where with a dry afternoon. It could be a few bits and pieces of dampness in the air, but many places will have a dry afternoon. However, it will turn increasingly cloudy from the west. Uh, the best of any bright spells will be in the east, but even those will go through the afternoon, I think. And the wind will increasingly freshen, becoming strong and gusty, particularly around those western coasts. Temperature today ranging from around 8 to 12 degrees, so um, it won't be as chilly as it has been over recent days. Of course, as the wind picks up and the rain sets in in the west, it will feel uh, rather on the cold side, I have to say. Overnight tonight, we're going to push this weather system eastwards across the country. So through the first part of the night, it turns wet and windy in many western areas. Outbreaks of rain will be heavy and persistent at times. And then that cloud, wind and rain will spread eastwards through the night, pushing through central and then eventually eastern areas uh, during the second half of the night. Having clearer spells to follow from the north and west, and with those clearer spells, there will be blustery showers, uh, and may probably turn increasingly wintry, even to low levels across the northwestern parts of Scotland. It'll be a windy night, uh, gusty winds, and uh, you'll hear that rain rattling on the window panes as it pushes through during the night. Uh, winds probably ease down a little bit during the second half of the night out in west, but even then, it will be quite uh, quite, a, quite a blustery night. Temperatures in the south and southeast will actually be very mild tonight, targeting up around 10 degrees. So despite the wind and rain tonight, at least it will be mild. In the north and west, after a mild start to the night, the temperatures will drop later, becoming quite cold in the northwest. Temperatures down to 2 or 3 degrees across the northwest part of Scotland. With those showers, there might be some icy patches on untreated roads and pavements. That's how uh, tomorrow's chart is looking, so quite a windy, showery day across many parts of the country, with a pretty cold northwesterly wind feeding in across the country. We start with outbreaks of rain in that southeast corner. They'll go very quickly, we'll get rid of that very quickly uh, through the early morning, and maybe brighten up, sunny spells then push through, but also with showers, the showers will turn heavy, there could be hail and thunder mixed in, and uh, possibly merging in some longer spells of rain, and don't rule out the chance of sleet or snow even to low levels across uh, parts of uh, northern Britain, but especially so for Scotland. The best of any dry weather, I think, will be on the eastern side of the country once we get rid of that early morning rain. Temperatures uh, in the south probably still holding up at around 9 or 10, but in the northwest it will be a colder day uh, there. Temperatures only around 3, 4 or 5 degrees, really, but just Scotland and Northern Ireland. I think colder than that in those strong northwesterly winds. 
My next low pressure is setting in on Monday, so I have to move in from off the Atlantic. So Monday probably starts mainly dry with sunny spells, but it turns uh, wet and windy in the west through the course of Monday afternoon. The rain will be heavy and persistent, driven in by a strong southwesterly wind. Eastern and central areas probably have a dryish day, although rain probably gets into central Britain by the end of the afternoon. But in the east, it will be dry after sunny morning. I would suspect it turns cloudy through the course of the afternoon. Those southwesterly winds are going to be pretty strong and uh, gusty, and uh, temperatures in the east will be rather chilly at only 7 or 8 degrees, but eventually it will turn very mild in the west, with temperatures possibly up to around 11, 12 or 13 degrees across West parts of the country by the end of Monday afternoon. I'm then going to a little bit of a north-south split through Tuesday and into Wednesday. There's quite a bit of uncertainty about this middle part of a week period. I think we get a weather front a little bit stuck through central areas. Um, it doesn't look as though that front is going to be overly active at the moment, but I, I would suspect there is a possibility that the rain on this front could be a little bit heavier and more widespread than the current model output is indicating. So, a uh, freeway split, really, for Tuesday. Scotland and eventually Northern Ireland has uh, a bright and breezy day with sunny spells and wintry showers. Then we find a band of rain, probably relatively light and patchy, but may pep up at times through initially Northern Ireland and Northern England, and that eventually moves down in towards uh, parts of Wales and the Midlands, I would have thought. Further south and east of that, a reasonable amount of dry weather, but probably quite a lot of cloud through East Anglia, Southern, South East England. Temperature in the south, very mild, up to around 14 degrees. That's 57 Fahrenheit, so quite spring-like in the south. Cold in the north, though, only 4 or 5 degrees at best up in the north. Uh, I think the front sort of in, uh, invigorates overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. There'll be a relatively active cold front then that pushes across country. Again, quite a lot of uncertainty about the detail of this, but I would suspect some point through Wednesday, most parts of England and Wales will get abandoned. Quite heavy rain lasting for an hour or so. That will push through and then be followed by these brighter, colder conditions from the north and the west. And showers again in the north and west will turn increasingly wintry. Quite a windy day again on uh, Wednesday. Especially so for more southern and southeastern parts of the country ahead of that cold front. Temperatures in the south would still be very mild, up to around 13, 14, maybe 15 degrees before that cold front pushes through. But behind the cold front, it turns colder, as the name implies. And uh, yes, a Scotland and Northern Ireland again, temperatures only around 4 or 5 degrees at best, with uh, sleet and snow in most wintry showers coming down to low levels across parts of Scotland in particular. By first, the everything is much more simple. So then we're into this uh, northwesterly wind feeding in sunshine and showers. So with this, the best of any dry weather will be in more southern and eastern parts of the country. Showers particularly notable in the north and the west. Uh, snow coming down to low levels across parts of Scotland, possibly Northern Ireland too. Temperatures colder all round so in the north. Well, it's already been cold there, of course, throughout most of the week. So in the north, again, only around three to six. In the south, colder there too. Temperatures uh, ranging from around 6 to 9 degrees Celsius. And then that's Friday. Uh, we bring a secondary area of low pressure in Brophy Atlantic. But again, quite a bit of uncertainty about that one. So for northern parts of the country, for uh, Northern Ireland, probably Scotland too, we have sunny spells and wintry showers. For England and Wales, after a dry start, we may bring a band of rain in from off the Atlantic. There could be some sleet or snow over high ground of North Wales. Um, if it gets far enough north, the north of England. Uh, otherwise, a little bit of rain moving in from off the Atlantic during Friday. The southeast of the Midlands could stay mainly dry. Again, a lot of uncertainty about the detail of the timings of that low pressure. Pretty cold day again. Temperatures ranging from around 3 or 4 uh, in the far north to around 8, 9, maybe 10 degrees down in the south. And then into the weekend, next weekend, we keep these unsettled conditions going. So another area of low pressures coming in off the Atlantic by the look of it for Saturday, bringing cloud and outbreaks of rain in from the west. And then that clears way into the North Sea on Sunday, and turns the winds into the north. So rain for Saturday, maybe hill snow mixed in, but rain and hill snow clears away on Sunday, and we're left with cold northerly wind and wintry showers in northern and eastern parts of the country. Again, a lot of uncertainty about the timings and detail of uh, that. 
Five just hundred charts with route rooks. So for many eastern parts of the country, mainly dry today and down in the south too. But in the northwest, we have got the outbreaks of rain and they'll become increasingly heavy and widespread through the course of this afternoon and evening. Quite wet overnight, wet and windy weather sweeps across the country. That rain clears the southeast first thing tomorrow morning, and then we're left with sunshine and showers. Some of the showers will be heavy and certainly cold enough for uh, wintry showers up in the north as well. That's Monday, mainly dry in the east, but cloud, wind and rain setting in in the west, and that wet and windy weather pushes eastwards uh, through the late afternoon and evening period, turning most of us wet and windy by the end of uh, Monday evening. Tuesday, we've got that band of rain through the central areas, sunshine and showers further north, mainly dry and south. It will be much milder, though, on uh, Tuesday. And then we're into Wednesday, and another band of uh, rain pushing eastwards across the country. That's on a cold front, so after a very mild uh, start in the south and east, it does turn brighter but colder in the north and west and then into uh, Thursday and Friday well then we're into cold showery conditions temperatures take a bit of a tumble and there'll be showers some of them wintry in northern parts of the country could be a more persistent area of rain maybe hills today for England and Wales on Friday so there's a lot going on this week another unsettled week coming up where it just doesn't want to settle down yet does it so um, in summary we're looking at uh, further showers if not longer spells of rain a total washout. There will be dry weather around as well. But overall, it's an unsettled week again. Pretty cold as well in the north with uh, temperatures cold enough for snow at times in the north. In the south, we will have a milder early and mid part of week. So Monday to Wednesday, the southern parts of the country looks relatively spring-like with the temperature. Maybe even getting to mid-teens Celsius, but then turning colder again uh, later in the week. Right, that's it. We get forecast uh, for today. We'll be back later on with your week to 10 to 14 day uh, video update. And that will include all of regular features. So you come back for that later on this afternoon. But uh, that's all for now, though. And thanks for watching.